Hello? 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 <laughs> David, talk to me. What? Is he alive? Is he oh, breathing? He's not, oh, he's not breathing. He's dead. But, but why, David? Why? There's a fighting on the way home was unbearable. And we got here and just went from one second to the next. He was going to go to the keys. He was going to go with Jacob. He was going to fight girls. Would it be okay if girls go and sleep over? I said no. And I told him no. And I was going to go over there tonight. And make sure. He said, well, all right. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Odie. Julie heard you. Julie oh. heard you. Julie heard you. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Odie. Please call my brother. I, Where's, I just your brother? To him. Where's your brother? Please. Where's your brother? He's going to go to jail. Man, this is so sad. Man, put up the picture. Miami Dade County. A ring camera footage shows the moments after 52 year old father, David de Jesus Patres, confessed to the fatal November 3rd shooting of his then 22 year old son, Eric, a Florida International University student who was planning to celebrate his November 6th birthday with his family. It was not immediately clear what the argument between the father and son was about or how it escalated to gun violence. Prosecutors filed a felony case on November 5th, and the father appeared in court for his arraignment hearing shortly after, where he pleaded not guilty to a second degree murder charge. The ring camera video shows the father speaking to his wife from outside of their home after the shooting occurred moments before he was arrested. Quote, is Eric alive? Is he breathing? Asks his wife. He's not breathing, he's dead. The fighting on the way home was unbearable. End quote. The father called 911 in body cam footage obtained Friday by NBC6. Police officers arrived at his home, officers with guns drawn asked the father to, the dad to come out with his hands up. The video shows he did comply with the police as he cried while being taken into custody. And he kept saying, I shot my son, I shot my son. Um, David told police this while sobbing. He then directed police to where the home, uh, to, to where the body was inside of the home. Detective um, Andre Martin, a spokesperson for the Miami Dade Police Department, described the murder as a domestic violence incident. Officers arrested the father, took him to the correctional center where he was held without bond. Um, the father appeared in court for an author hearing on Thursday, which is a procedure to allow for consideration of bond. The judge ruled that he will continue to be held without bond until his next court appearance. We're gonna follow this story. I, I, I can't imagine the pain of the rest of the family, that the mother and, um, and others who, I mean, this, is, this, this completely flips everything. In a person's life, and then the the 22 year old who's in college, having the last moments of his life, his father has a gun pointed at him and he shoots. This is so damn sad. All right, Jackson, thoughts, man. Yeah, I mean, especially right when basically his life was going to get started, in the sense of him right. being able to more so discover who he is, uh, what he's made of. Um, and a lot of his biggest challenges, he didn't even have a chance to face. Yep. Um, but I think the important thing is that with that being on camera, I mean, there's really no way he's going to get away with this. And right. I don't expect him to garner much sympathy um, from a jury or from the public either. Um, so, yeah, I'm, it's about as tragic as it gets. It really is. Really is, man.